In this tutorial today, we're gonna do expanding text loop animation. So to start, you need your text layer, most importantly. And then if you have a color palette, then you might want to prepare your color palette. After you create your text layer, all you need to do is to right click on it and then create shapes from text. Now I want you to bring this blue layer, which is the shape layer underneath the text layer. And then we're going to turn the text layer back on and let's open the shape layer. So basically I want you to go to add and click on this arrow and then choose offset parts. Now make sure that when you create offset parts, it goes underneath all of these letters, not inside of it. If it does go inside of the letters, all you need to do is to make sure you click on the contents and then add offset parts again. Now let's open the offset parts. Basically what we want to animate is just this amount. So if you animate this, it's basically just kind of like expanding the shape of your text. Now obviously it's like white on white because our text layers is also white. So I'm just going to change the fill to something else. I'm just going to choose a color from my color palette here. It doesn't matter now because I'm going to create gradient later on. And then basically I'm going to animate that amount. So if you go under offset pass and then just create keyframe, I'm going to start with zero. And then I'm going to go to around three seconds and slide this number to the right until it covers the whole composition. So about there, if you play it, it basically just kind of like expanding like that. Let's pre-comp this layer. So right click pre-compose and I'm just going to call it gradient. I'm going to change the color of this layer to something else. And then let's go inside this pre-comp. So now I'm going to create a gradient using Motion Duck, which is an extension by Sonduck. I've put the link in the description below if you want to download it. It basically has a lot of like pre-made animation, titles animation, animated backgrounds, icons, and a lot more. And these are basically some of the packs that I've downloaded. We're going to use the Sonduck background pack. Just click on that checkbox and then it'll load all of this amazing animated backgrounds. And I'm just going to look for the gradient animated background because I always use gradient and I thought they look really cool. Once you decide on the pre-made animation that you want to use, just hover over it and then click on this checkbox. And then it'll create this pre-com in your composition. Now I want you to click on this checkbox here. It's basically underlying transparency. So if you click on it, basically what it does, it just kind of like mat the top layer onto the bottom layer. Now let's go back to the main comp and see how it looks like. So it basically just looks like that, right? Now what I want you to do is to duplicate this twice, select the first two layers here and then hold Alt Shift and page down. So that moves your layers 10 frames ahead. Do that one more time, Alt Shift page down. And I'm going to select the top layer and I'm going to do that again, Alt Shift page down twice. Basically the gap between each layer is 20 frames. So it'll basically look like that. Now I'm going to select all these three layers and duplicate it again by holding Ctrl D and then put it on top here and then just move it ahead using Alt Shift page down. Just make sure that each of the layer has 20 frames gap. Let's go to exactly three seconds because that's when the expansion covers the whole composition. I'm going to hit B. So that's to bring the work start area onto where my playhead is. In order to determine where it ends, I'm just going to do this manually. So let's just zoom it into your timeline and just figure out how many frames there is from the start area onto this layer here. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So the gap here is five frames. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to go to this layer, hit I on your keyboard to go to the start of that layer. And I'm going to move back by holding page up five times. One, two, three, four, five. So that's five frames. I'm going to hit N to bring the work end area where my playhead is. Now, if you toggle between J and K, so that's going to be exactly the same. So basically, if you play that, 
So it's gonna constantly looping. So that's great. That's what you want. Now I'm gonna go to this work area and right click on it and then select trim comb to work area. And then I'm just gonna delete this first gradient. Now let's change the color of this gradient according to our color palette. So let's go inside that gradient and then go inside there again. And I'm gonna bring my color palette inside here. Now go to your control layer here and then go to effect controls. So that's where you change your color without messing with the animations. So that's what's so great about Sondak extension. You can customize all the colors without messing with the pre-made animation. So I'm just going to choose and play around with the colors here. So now I'm quite happy with the movement and with the colors. So I'm just going to play around with this text a little bit to just give a little extra details. So I'm going to add stroke onto this text layer. So to add stroke under your character tab here, just click on this stroke block and then just choose the color you want. I'm just going to choose black for this one. And then you can also play around with the stroke with here. And then you can also play around with the settings. So it just kind of like how the stroke plays out on the text. I'm just going to choose all fills over all strokes here. And then I'm probably going to reduce that down to 15. And then I'm going to add a drop shadow. So under your effects and presets, just drag your drop shadow onto your text layer. And I'm going to add the distance a little bit. I'm going to bump up the opacity to 100%. Maybe reduce that a little bit. And that's it. I'm quite happy with how it looks. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy that and I'll see you next time.